Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. Today I have prepared two very easy questions for you. One is true-false question, another one is multiple choice question. And uh, the first question is the X and Y chromosomes are named after the characteristic shape. And uh, I did a search and 50% of the pictures that I got look like uh, this. So this is uh, one of the pictures example, here is the second example, and here is the third example. By looking at these pictures, you would definitely say that uh, this X and Y chromosome were named after the characteristic shape. But this is wrong answer, because uh, as you see, uh, for example here, X and Y chromosome are almost uh, the same size, but actually Y chromosome is 10 times smaller than um, X chromosome. So this is wrong picture. And here and here we see that Y chromosome consists of three arms. And I would tell you that there is no single chromosome in mammals uh, where chromosome has three arms. And you can see clearly here that we have one, two and three arms for Y chromosome. The actual picture of the X and Y chromosome you can see here. And uh, as you see, we can say that this looks like X chromosome, but this is definitely doesn't look like uh, Y chromosome, it doesn't re resemble Y uh, letter. And also I can tell you that uh, if we take uh, a look at this karyotype, you would see that here on the left uh, we see contents of the nucleus and here this same contains but organized in pairs. And once again uh, we see that chromosomes goes in pairs and uh, looks like a small rod or cable with strips and uh, X and Y chromosome also doesn't resemble X and Y. And uh, on the other uh, karyotype that you may see on the internet you may see each chromosome present in two copies for example chromosome number one present in two copies as uh, two sister chromatids and here we see another chromosome also present uh, in two copies as uh, sister chromatids. So this karyotype was made during meiosis 1. And as you see uh, most of the uh, chromosomes resemble X. So we cannot say that uh, this is only applies to the uh, chromosome uh, number 23, sex uh, pair of chromosome. Actually, all of them almost look like uh, X chromosomes. So, now you can say that uh, chromosomes, X and Y chromosomes, are not named because they resemble X and Y. And this is going to be our answer today. And this is false statement. Answer B. Next question. Red-green color blindness is X-link recessive. A woman with normal color vision has a father who is color blind. The woman has a child with a man with normal color vision, which phenotype is not expected. And here is the uh, different variants of the possible phenotypes. And uh, in order to solve this problem, we need to make a karyotype. We have a female whose father was affected with uh, red-green color blindness. So nothing is said about her mother. So we assume that her mother were uh, normal for this trait. And this couple had a child, female, so we draw a circle. So what is the uh, genotype of this female? We know that uh, red-green color blindness is recessive genetic disorder 
and this gene uh, resides on the X chromosome. So that means that uh, X chromosome of her father would be with defective gene. So I would use a white color for this defective X chromosome. And uh, the second chromosome would be Y chromosome. So genotype of the father would be XY. And genotype of the mother would be XX. And both X chromosomes would be normal. So uh, now we know that uh, father only can give to his daughter this X chromosome. If he would give her Y chromosome, it wouldn't be uh, a female anymore. So uh, father only can give this defective chromosome, X chromosome, to her daughter. So here is a one defective X chromosome. And no matter which chromosome would give uh, mother to her daughter, the second chromosome would be normal. And because this genetic disorder is recessive, one normal chromosome with one normal gene would be enough for phenotype of this female to be normal. But this female would be a carrier. So now we know the genotype of this female. So this is X and X. And now we can build a Punnett square. So this is going to be a female side of the Punnett square. And male would be normal genotype. So X, Y. And now when we build a Punnett square, we can predict genotypes and phenotypes of the progeny. And top side is the male side. In this first box we would have phenotypically and genotypically normal female. Here we would have one normal X chromosome that female would get from father side and one defective chromosome that she would get from her mother side. And here we would have one normal X chromosome that this male would get from mother side and one normal Y chromosome that this male would get from the father side. And in the last box we would see one defective X chromosome or uh, chromosome with defective gene for red-green color blindness and one normal Y chromosome from the father side. So as you see 50% uh, of the progeny would be males and 50% of the progeny would be females. Now we can return to our answers and we can choose the correct answer. Once again the question is which phenotype is not expected. Let's start from the end of the list uh, of the possible variants. Answer D, a non-colorblind male and uh, here we have non-colorblind male. 50% of the males would be non-colorblind. So this is possible variant and we are looking for not expected variant and this is expected variant. Answer C, a non-colorblind female and actually all of the females would be non-colorblind. Those 50% uh, of the females would be carriers, would have one defective um, X chromosome or defective gene on X chromosome but because they would have one normal uh, X chromosome with normal uh, allele for this trait uh, phenotypically they also would be normal but would be carriers. So this is also expected uh, variant. Answer B a colorblind male and also as you see 50% uh, of the males would be colorblind in a such family. So this is also expected variant. And answer A, a colorblind female. Once again, in this family, colorblind female is not possible variant because 50% uh, of the females would be uh, phenotypically and genotypically normal and 50% of them, those would have one 
defective um, gene on the X chromosome because they would balance it with one normal dominant allele on the other chromosome, phenotypically they still would be normal. So our answer would be answer A. We do not expect a colorblind female in such family. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.